The Story of Redemption Imagine wandering in a vast desert, alone, thirsty, with no direction in sight. This is how many of us feel when we are separated from God, lost in our sins, isolated from the very source of life and hope. Yet the beauty of redemption is that even in our lost state, God is constantly searching for us, waiting to bring us home. The story of redemption begins in the Bible, where humanity's fall from grace in the Garden of Eden, as described in Genesis chapter 3, verses 23 to 24, led to separation from God. But God didn't abandon us there. He made a promise, one that would be fulfilled through the greatest act of love, sending his son Jesus to find and redeem us. Let's reflect on Luke chapter 15, verses 4 to 7, the parable of the lost sheep. Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. Doesn't he leave the 99 in the open country and go after the lost sheep until he finds it? And when he finds it, he joyfully puts it on his shoulders and goes home. This parable perfectly captures God's heart for redemption. He doesn't just wait for us to come to him. He actively searches for us. His love is so great that he will leave the flock to find the one that is lost. And when he finds us, it's not with anger or disappointment, but with joy and celebration. Romans chapter 5 verse 8 reminds us, But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Jesus' sacrifice on the cross is the ultimate act of redemption. He took our place, bearing the weight of our sins, so that we could be restored to the Father. Through his death and resurrection, we have the opportunity to be found, to be forgiven, and to walk in newness of life. Let us never forget that redemption is not something we earn. It's a gift freely given by God's grace. Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 through 9 says, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. We were once lost, wandering in the wilderness of sin, but because of Jesus, we are now found. This is the heart of the gospel, the story of a God who pursues us, who redeems us, and who calls us his own.